Dear colleagues and guests, today is the, the 3rd of March, 2022, 3 p.m. Moscow Standard Time. Let me start the work of the dissertation committee dedicated to the, the, thesis, the defense of the thesis by Gen Bao uh, seeking an academic degree of Canada of Cultural Studies in the degree field 5.10.1, Theory and History of Culture and Art on the topic Confucianism uh, and the Modern Culture of China. By the act of, of uh, Academic Secretary of St. Petersburg University, Alexander Valentinovich Gnetov, uh, dated uh, the 23rd of December 2021, I, Boris Georgievich Sokolov, Doctor of Philosophical uh, Philosophy, Professor of the Department of uh, Cultural Studies of the Philosophy of Culture and Aesthetics of St. Petersburg University, was appointed chair, per, a chair of this dissertation committee. Uh, this dissertation committee also includes uh, Evgeny Anatolyevich Makovetsky, Doctor of Philosophy, Professor of the Department of Russian Philosophy and Culture, St. Petersburg University, and uh, Yuron uh, De Demshin, a Doctor of Cultural Studies, uh, uh, Professor of the Department of Cultural of the History of Arts, St. Petersburg University. Uh, uh, Yuri Grigorovich Smertin, Doctor of History, Professor of the Department of Foreign Area Studies and um, and Oriental Studies at uh, Cuban State University is online with us. Can you see and hear us? Yes. Uh, Surin Handa Dimitrievna Sertipova, Doctor of, of History, um, uh, uh, Chief Research Associate at uh, the Institute of uh, Oriental Studies, uh, Russian Academy of Science, and as uh, Lazitsa Plashinkova, PhD Professor of the Department of Physical Philosophy and the History of Philosophy. Prof University um, named after Komensky in Bratislava, Slovakia. Can you see and hear us? Yes. Also with us is the academic advisor of the dissertation, Doctor of Cultural Studies, uh, Department, the Associate Professor of the Department of Philosophy and Cultural, uh, Cultural Studies of, uh, of the East, St. Petersburg University, Alexei Fabraxin and Tola Mikhailovich. Yeah. Please, those who are offline with us, uh, uh, I would like you to um, switch off your uh, mobile phones. But um, those uh, who are online with us, please don't turn them off uh, for emergency communication. This, uh, uh, this is to be reminded uh, that uh, there's an uh, audiovisual recording of this, the work of the Special Committee. It's broadcast on li uh, online, live, and uh, it's accompanied by an interpretation between Russian and English. Uh, there's a website that uh, <clears throat> where this broadcast is being uh, transmitted. Uh, it has an email. And um, uh, you can where anybody can send an email uh, relating with a question or comment relating to the dissertation, a presentation, and the dissertation. Uh, but it, uh, every question should have uh, should have the author, specified full name uh, and affiliation. Uh, no questions that have no relation to the academic discussion will be read in accordance with the procedure of awarding academic degrees of Candidate kind of Sciences and Doctor of Sciences at St. Petersburg University. Uh, uh, a session of the station, uh, the station Council session is deemed uh, legitimate if uh, not few, not less than two thirds of the, the established membership of the station committee, um, but not than not uh, more than four people. Our station committee consists of six people, 
all six all six six people are in attendance including three members of uh, in the uh, remote remote uh, an audiovisual contact is um, established the quorum is there uh, I would like to ask uh, the member of the academic councils <coughs> uh, and uh, committee uh, support office um, of St. Petersburg University to start attendance list. Well, two hours uh, is for the agenda. The agenda includes uh, item one. Uh, the chairman will uh, give a short overview of the paperwork um, that uh, sub submitted by the <coughs> the candidate. Five minutes. Uh, second, uh, short presentation by the candidates uh, to cover mm, the key points of their res of uh, their research um, at approximately 15 minutes questions to the uh, to the candidate uh, on the presentation two minutes per question then the candidate will answer five for five minutes to all questions and then <coughs> um, external uh, reviews will be read <coughs> Uh, if there are any, and then um, uh, members of the station committee will take turns to um, read their reviews, and the chairman will also do that. Then the <clears throat> the candidate will answer all the questions. Uh, Twenty minutes. Then open floor discussion. Uh, uh, strictly relating to the presentation. Two, two minutes per speaker. Uh, those of you who would like to uh, to make a comment or ask a question, please enter your name in the, in the logbook uh, and sign and, uh, pre and uh, supply your affiliation. Then <clears throat> uh, the chairman of the committee will read uh, any questions that uh, have arrived uh, the email uh, <clears throat> at, uh, uh, indicated on the website of St. Petersburg University. The next one uh, is uh, the candidate will have two minutes to per question to answer these questions and then uh, the academic advisor will have three minutes to discuss uh, the candidate and then and then five minutes uh, are allocated for uh, behind the closed doors uh, discussion of the verdict if uh, such a break is needed uh, with no broadcast. And then the, uh, the open roll call vote um, and then the counting votes and um, uh, the, the taking of the decision and the concluding statement of this candidate. Any, any objections to this uh, procedure? No. Well, if there are no objections, then um, I will start uh, the work. If you uh, please, um, those who are online with us, uh, and the uh, Uh, for emergency communication, um, well, the first item is the is my uh, overview of the paperwork. Gen Bell uh, wrote his dissertation in St. Petersburg University as a as a uh, postgraduate student under the uh, supervision of Doctor of Cultural Studies. Uh, uh, Alexey Vapraxin Anatoly Mikhailovich, uh, St. Petersburg University. And the number of publications um, uh, is uh, three. And the, and the refereed um, uh, journals uh, approved by the Ministry of uh, Science and uh, Education, three publications. So. <clears throat> three publications in total. All the presented uh, paperwork, um, according to my knowledge from the um, the curator of this uh, 
uh, of the uh, file. Um, uh, copies of these documents are available from the member of the office. And before I give the floor to the the dissertation committee members, um, I'd like to ask you, do you have any general questions uh, for the um, candidate? Um, and do we need to go over indi every individual document supplied by the candidate? No. Then uh, I would like to give the floor to uh, again Bell. Dear Chairman, the members of the Distation Committee, let me present to your attention a thesis on the topic Confucianism in modern Chinese culture. The relevance of the research, the modern world is undergoing so total uh, cultural changes, although these changes are not uh, as bloody uh, as um, as um, has happened in the past century, in many ways they lead to even more serious cultural losses. The uh, uh, ubiquitous um, global cultural crisis today is associated with the change in the picture of the world in the procedural, axiological, moral, and other aspects. The context and meanings of traditional cultures are being reco recoded, causing irreparable damage to a person as a creator and the creation of culture. The protracted process of the loss of traditional cultural values and the replacement of loss losses with simulacra of uh, mass conception culture introduces a person into a state of asset uncertainty. This situation also poses a serious threat, threat to China, which is striving for development and modernization without losing its cultural identity. After the adoption of the policy of a reform and the opening up uh, of the country in the 1980s, a revival of Confucianism began in the country. It has returned not only to academic discourse, to the academic discourse, but also to the attention of representatives of the ruling circle, ruling elites, and the general public. The relevance of the study is to identify and demonstrate the true landmarks to, uh, to reveal the essence of the cultural codes of the traditional Chinese ethos which despite the information availability are not clear to many outside of China. This misunderstanding gives rise to distrust of China on the part of its partners and contractors, and disputes and fears related, for example, to the fact that the growth of economic power may be followed by an aggressive policy and expansion, which does not correspond to the realities and deep Chinese ideas about the evolution of the world. Thus, the study of modern Chinese culture is designed to help uh, fruitful cooperation between countries and peoples. The re relevance of this thesis also lies in the cultural study of the influence of Con Confucian concepts on the culture of China in clarifying the status of Confucianism in the development of modern culture and identifying the prospects for the development of dis dis dissemination of the values of this system, which may be useful and in demand in the modern multicultural world. The purpose of this study is to identify the categories and regulations of Confucian culture and show their significance in the development of, of the People's Republic of China at the present stage. The aim of the study is the, is the following tasks, uh, is the following objectives, analyze the categories of, and regulations of Confucian culture to study the origins and socio-cultural evolution of basic views, reveal the application of Confucian principles um, in the daily culture of modern China, determine the value of Confucianism in the preservation of cultural identity, explore the place of Confucianism in the space of artistic culture, um, and to study the influence of Confucianism and the modern political and economic system of Russia, of China, show the resources of Confucianism in solving problems related to innovation, research source, sources, uh, Russian and Western works on the theory and history of culture were used 
in a source and the work, as well as the traditional Confucian classics and the works of modern Chinese science scholars. Some of them have, have not been previously considered by Russian researchers. In the study of modernity, official documents and periodicals were also used. Research structure of this dissertation consists of an introduction, two chapters, and conclusion, and a list of references. The first chapter of the dissertation work, Categories and Regulations of Confucian Culture, describes the origins of Confucianism and analyzes its evolution and integration with Buddhism and Taoism in the historical and cultural context. This chapter reveals the role of Confucianism in traditional Chinese culture. In the second chapter, Confucianism and Modern Life, the doctrine was considered in the context of different spheres of cultural life, political, economic, artistic, and everyday culture. This made it possible to determine the status of, teaching, of the teaching in modern Chinese culture, as well as to identify the prospects for the development of Confucianism in the context of for globalization. Theoretical provisions are submitted for defense. First, can, uh, Confucianism chose ritual as the basis of human behavior. Humanity is its ideology, and ethnical education is the method, is the main method of personality formation developing. Separate provisions are approaches, and approaches expressed in brief aphoristic forms and hieroglyphic images eventually turned into cultural codes passed down from generation to generation, which determined the development of the traditional Chinese ethos and the culture as a whole. The second, the study of the socio-cultural evolution of Confucian views showed that the, from the period of uh, Chang'e and uh, Chang'e of the uh, uh, Wai and Jin dynasties, um, the northern and southern dynasties, Confucianism gradually moved from solving issues of morality and ethics to politics and law, yielding culturally and socially uh, its leading role to in shaping the Chinese ethos of B Buddhism. Third, from the Tang era to the Ming era, not, uh, not yet rid of politici politicization, Confucianism focused on the problem of human nature with the help of influence of Buddhist thought. Neo-Confucians neo neo revised the theory of the unity of heaven and man as the unity of the innate personality and acquired personality. Four, integration of the ideas of conditions and moral education in China's modern political and economic reforms uh, is a relevant and timely model for the development of society, which is most consistent with China's national characteristic. Such a model is capable of storing semantic and value orientation, balancing ethics and the rule of law. Five, the sustainable development of Chinese society in history and today is largely based on Confucian cultural codes, deeply uh, uh, rooted in everyday uh, life uh, and everyday culture, family relations, gastronomic cuisine, gender issues, etc., and and the arts, painting, architecture, music, etc., and modern culture, modern China. Com uh, six, combining of humanistic mission for model of education with Western education approaches focused on the cultivation of individuality can provide an optical development of model and improve the Chinese education system. Seven, for the cultural development and progress of modern China, the most important is the study of practical Confucianism, which allows finding answers to new global challenges, including those related to the development of information technology, artificial intelligence, and formation of society 5.0. Eight, provided that Confucianism is preserved as the main basis of culture, it is possible to widely uh, integrate the outstanding ideas and practices of various cultures without the risk of losing the uniqueness of Chinese culture against the backdrop of cultural globalization and unification. The scientific knowledge of the research includes the following aspects. The basic ideas and concepts of Confucianism are comprehended as cultural codes of the traditional Chinese ethos. The definition of a cultural code is given. Proved the role of the revived Confucianism in the preservation of cultural identity. 
The influence of Confucianism on politics, economics, education, artistic culture, and modern China was revealed. The practical value of Confucianism in everyday life of the Chinese uh, people is revealed. Show and then finally shows the prospect for the development of Confucianism and the forms of its influence on the formation of modern cultural life. In our opinion, the conduct of research contributes to the study of the history, philosophical, and cultural thought of China. The dissertation remain, uh, contains useful reference materials that can provide significant assistance to scientists, social and cultural workers, strategic planners, uh, and as Mr. of cultural posters who are interested in building harmonious relations with partners from other countries. Thank you very much. You, my presentation is over. Perfect. The, the, do you have any questions uh, from the committee as regards the the station or uh, the presentation. Now, then we will con go on to the um, members of the station with their reviews. And uh, the, uh, the, um, the external reviews, and if there's no, the um, candidates can answer critical remarks after each review or after uh, after all of them. Yes, this will uh, save us some time. Then um, members of the station council. Uh, all the, the uh, reviews have been published uh, on the website of St. Petersburg University, and therefore I suggest that uh, only key points uh, uh, should be read and uh, questions and critical remarks. Then uh, I would like to start with uh, the most remote um, uh, member of the station committee, because uh, if there are any uh, technical glitches, uh, then we will have time to to uh, uh, fix them without um, interrupting the work of the... Uh, yes, please, Zlatica uh, Plashienkova, your, uh, uh, your floor. The floor is yours. You, the, please turn on the microphone. Yes, Zlatica, please uh, forgive me. I forgot to switch on my microphone. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, dear colleagues. Let me read so, uh, some of the key uh, theses uh, regarding the dissertation. Bef when I read this dissertation, I, it, it impressed me positively, and uh, and I joined uh, working. Uh, I joined reading the work even two times. The relevance, uh, uh, Genbao already said about the, but I would like also to dwell on the relevance. Uh, the um, first, the, uh, uh, the study of contemporary China culturally is a very important topic uh, that lends to the um, maintenance of uh, mutual understanding between the peoples of uh, the West and uh, the East. And uh, the role of traditional Confucianism uh, is um, very great uh, in contemporary culture. This is a very ancient uh, teaching, and uh, this is uh, a foundation for China to keep uh, uh, their identity and it's therefore useful for the world today. And uh, the, uh, the candidate uh, is quite young, but on the other hand, uh, he is very knowledgeable 
and about Confucius, and uh, I appreciate it very much. The author looked at the culture of of his own culture uh, as an outsider. He um, uh, managed uh, to explain uh, through comparativist approaches and philosophical approaches uh, uh, one phenomenon. The work is written uh, uh, in an academic style. All the formulated uh, uh, goals and objectives are f fulfilled. And um, the structure is uh, logically coherent. And the provisions are um, based on the main arguments uh, uh, in, in the paper, in the thesis, and that's very commendable. Well, also the literature, um, international and Chinese, uh, and the, uh, for me, the most novel thing is uh, we had uh, an opportunity to understand to, uh, that studying uh, the cultural codes of uh, Chinese uh, ethnic uh, nation. And uh, the author, actually, I, I, d I managed to identify what the cultural code is. Well, the structure of the work is uh, traditional. First, um, it uh, consists of two chapters. The first uh, chapter uh, focuses on the main categories and phenomena and terms and concepts of Confucian culture. And the second uh, chapter uh, covers the, the modern day. And uh, on concrete uh, examples, uh, in, in, in economics, uh, in econ economy, uh, family life, uh, cuisine, uh, tourism, education, etc., he traces the influence of Confucianism. He tried to, by looking at these things, uh, the uh, he even looked at uh, in artificial intelligence. And I would like to ask the, uh, one question now. What is the author position? What new uh, can uh, to talk, uh, tell us about uh, uh, the use of artificial intelligence? And because artificial is, is part of our life, and um, so I'm very interested. What does Confucianism have to say about artificial intelligence and the use of artificial intelligence? And the second question uh, uh, has to do with a very important Confucianist statement. I, s I saw it on one of the pages of the work. And this uh, is state to to um, put up with the environment, but not uh, uh, become one with it. So how how can we apply this to Chinese policy and and econo uh, political and economic policies? And uh, I would like to. Uh, state that uh, the thesis of Genbao on the topic Confucianism and modern cult uh, uh, Chinese culture uh, meets the key requirements of uh, the procedure of awarding academic degrees at Springfield University. And the candidate Genbao deserves uh, uh, an academic degree of candidate of cultural studies to be awarded to him. So. Question, questions will be answered at the end, so please uh, uh, 
first of all, I would like to and to thank you for the invitation to take part in this uh, in this um, uh, co uh, committee. I will not uh, read my review in full. It's been published, but a couple of things I will specify. I would like to say first, uh, it has a lot of sources. It uh, includes uh, a, a lot of classical sources. What uh, struck me to achieve the goal of the distation, the author used the principles and methods uh, um, typical of cultural studies research. He, on, he showed the uh, specific for the specific context that he showed. The author uh, opposes cultural globalization. He stands for cultural mul mul multiculturalism, and uh, but doesn't uh, reject dialogue between cultures. And Confucianism, in his view, is human humanistic. And um, these principles uh, are shared by most countries. Confucius, Confucius, Confucius uh, said uh, that war is the worst result. That means that uh, more human, humane uh, uh, means uh, hadn't worked, uh, like diplomacy and negotiations, and in at this time is very relevant. The most important thing, interesting thing, is the uh, the impact of Confucian on contemporary China. Well, maybe some a a areas of um, Chinese uh, life uh, uh, have been omitted, but uh, mo the most uh, important ones, economic and um, uh, political life is included, so it's very important. And uh, Confucianism helps Chinese people to cope with uh, challenges. What I, I didn't see in this work, Confucianism is, uh, is an ideology and, and ethics very conservative, and uh, Confucianism has never been <coughs> uh, unmoved and uh, it's been changing all the time. In Korea, which uh, uh, were ill with Confucianism, and they, they, were, they had more Confucianism in their life. This is a two-edged two sword, uh, double-edged sword. And uh, the, well, Mao Zedong uh, fought Confucianism because uh, Confucian, uh, Confucianism uh, uh, didn't um, advocate development. Confucian, him, uh, Confucius himself uh, didn't uh, advocate de progress, didn't advocate development, and rather tradition. The, uh, the findings uh, can are applicable. They can be uh, used in uh, lecture courses on the culture of uh, China 
And uh, it's not just me talking about it. I've started using uh, this material in my courses already. There are some drawbacks, of course. You, you should have uh, uh, put all the sources uh, in a s separate uh, section in the introduction and the list of literature. Letters, uh, the sources uh, from, uh, in my point of view, uh, as a historian, these are different uh, uh, things. Uh, and then uh, in the, again, the references, uh, uh, you should have put Chinese sources uh, into a, a separate um, subsection and uh, and uh, um, uh, edit them uh, a a according to the accepted rules. Some some sections of the work are too small in size. For example, uh, paragraph 1.1 .1 of the second chapter, Globalization Transformations in, Ki in China, uh, takes on, on, uh, slightly more than one pa page. Number four, the, the section, uh, the degree of, uh, of um, literary um, coverage, uh, the, the theoretic coverage of the topic um, in the uh, introduction uh, contains only uh, the re uh, enumeration of authors and their works. Fifth. Uh, then um, it could have uh, uh, interviews with uh, with members of uh, Chinese social uh, different social uh, uh, strata uh, could uh, be an additional uh, asset and uh, could give uh, this uh, research uh, a human dimension and in the work uh, there are some typos punctuation and stylistic drawbacks. Thank you very much. Nevertheless, now I would like to state, nevertheless, that the, the thesis of Gan Bao on the topic Confucianism and modern Chinese culture totally uh, uh, meets the requirements of St. Petersburg University on the wooden degrees. Thank you very much. Can you hear me? This is from uh, Surun Handi uh, Sirtipova. Thank you very much for uh, inviting me to serve on this panel. Well, I don't know if you, if I need to introduce myself. I'm doctor of um, history and um, um, chief research associate of the Institute of. Uh, of uh, Oriental Studies um, and um, of the Russian Academy of Science. It's a very relevant uh, topic. We know too little about our great uh, southern uh, neighbor, although we've been living for th uh, thousands of years together. And it's very important to see uh, what um, uh, a scholar who knows uh, his culture inside out um, has to tell us about their country. Of course, there are some pluses and minuses, but in this, but we can say that the the thesis uh, presents uh, something that. Uh, uh, presents uh, Confu Confucianism as a, as the um, adherent of this culture. Uh, well, in terms of uh, some formulations and structures, uh, stru design of the work, uh, no problems. And the liter uh, 
So much literature has been studied. For us, it's very important to see because uh, we don't uh, we live in a different information space. We are not uh, uh, familiar to our, to the um, Chinese uh, literature because we don't speak the language, and we're not uh, uh, the um, the representatives of that culture. And we are eager to know uh, what uh, is the secret, why Chinese culture has uh, thrived for so many years, uh, so many centuries, and the and where the potential of self-preservation uh, is. And Dan Bell opens uh, slightly uh, the, this mystery, the mechanics of this uh, this action it's very attractive i can mm, cannot help but endorse this work but uh, i what i see lacking and it ex it's explained that genbao can put us us uh, uh, in the place of um, an outside observer, and maybe what I what I didn't see the uh, maybe the deepness of uh, uh, scholarship in into some issues, and uh, in the future I hope that Genbao will uh, present a more profound. Uh, view of uh, some aspects. For example, today again, Bell said ritual is the uh, the foundation of um, behavior and uh, ethical um, and uh, and hu human uh, humanism as the of uh, foundation, and I would like to see examples what is good and what is bad, because at different um, historical periods and histori historical contexts, uh, uh, people understood uh, good and, and bad in different ways, and what is humane and what is not humane. Well, uh, there is no unanimity uh, as to that. Some everyday life uh, uh, issues uh, are normal and and uh, normal in uh, cultures in uh, Chinese culture, and not accepted in uh, Russian or uh, European cultures. And uh, we should work more on this uh, to better understand each other. And this is what the recent uh, uh, recent um, uh, events uh, are showing that we don't see, don't hear each other, and um, misunderstanding that could have been solved um, tactically. Uh, they grow out into big, uh, painful issues. Buddhism and Confucianism. This uh, relationship is very important. I am a B Buddhism uh, scholar. I don't think that this, uh, this relationship is not uh, uh, covered uh, well enough, uh, but so you cannot uh, you cannot uh, cover everything, and of course the uh, the uh, the teaching of Confucianism uh, had an impact on the political uh, political um, uh, decision making in China, and, and for, it's written by in in good Russian. Well, there are typos, of course, and uh, of course. Um, 
um, stylistic uh, drawbacks, uh, but um, nevertheless, uh, but this is uh, this work is of theoretical and practical significance to us, and therefore. Uh, I would like to state that the the thesis of Genbao uh, tot me completely meets the requirements of the procedure awarding academic degrees, uh, and uh, Genbao deserves to be awarded an academic degree of candidate of cultural studies, of the history of art, culture, and uh, and the degree field for five point ten. Thank you very much. I would like to give the floor now to um, uh, to um, uh, Professor Alaeva. I would like to give a short overview of my res of my review. Uh, just a few things. the The relevance. Uh, is uh, very local. We've had many projects um, with China. I've had um, uh, cultural projects of supervised uh, scratch of uh, art, art um, ex uh, exhibitions and, um, and micro and macro projects. Uh, and uh, once the second uh, moment is the global. Uh, China is demonstrating a unique model of modernization that uses information, innovation technology and globalization, modern ideas, but also coupled with uh, its own traditions, uh, not, uh, not as a subject of study, but as preferred methods and the, uh, something that they fall back on. Uh, tradition and uh, cultural identity are are not uh, something that you have to preserve, but uh, something that you you actually base your decisions on. And um, the uh, academic uh, uh, novelty is also undoubted, and. Uh, I, I, when I remember it, Bakhtin, the author, uh, looked at uh, Russian traditions of uh, studying China and European China, and being a Chinese himself, uh, looking at uh, and the Chinese traditional, looking at these three uh, intertwined, uh, he um, actually came up with a very with a very good work. Uh, another uh, commendable thing is the, uh, the connection between theory and uh, practice. In the second chapter, he shows how his uh, uh, findings about Confucianism uh, uh, work in different spheres of Chinese life. Uh, everything was said about um, the sources. I worked with many foreign, uh, foreign um, uh, master's degree students, uh, and uh, you know they have different uh, levels of Russian. In this case, uh, I read the work as if I was reading a Russian work, and then uh, this is very important uh, because Bakhtin, for example, uh, also said that uh, to to see um, and the world from different perspectives as a bonus. As far as the drawbacks, again, bam, half of the work uh, is uh, used uh, up for uh, the um, to uh, to uh, run down run over. Uh, the main concepts of Confucianism. And instead, I would have uh, uh, liked to see how the ideas of Confucianism um, have developed and how different different uh, members of the of so different social classes uh, uh, look at the uh, at the teaching. 
also there are some controversial points for example the criticism of uh, confucianism is left out and uh, uh, the author uh, talks about the um, innovation in uh, in uh, school education in uh, china and it would be interesting to see how this is linked to confucianism and uh, also would be interesting to see uh, what stereotypes about confucianism exist in uh, europe and in china uh, it would be a good topic to uh, uh, to explore as a monograph or as a journal article you looked at v v at tourism is the most impo uh, interesting and uh, advantageous part of your uh, work but but uh, what uh, I uh, didn't find is the uh, influence of uh, Confucianism on modern art and because uh, Chinese art is now in the vogue and how uh, it would be interesting to see how uh, uh, Chinese artists interpret and negotiate Confucianism in their works. And just uh, to reiterate uh, that um, that there are innovation things um, in the, in the work, and um, therefore the dissertation of Gen Bao uh, fully meets the requirements of. Um, the procedure of uh, awarding academic degre degrees at St. Petersburg University in Cultural Studies. And uh, again, Bao uh, is, deserves this uh, degree. Thank you very much. I will be very short, too. But, um, First one. This is from from uh, Sokolov. First uh, uh, commendable features is the scale of the work, and there's an analogy. If the dissertation uh, looked at Christianity in uh, Western culture, um, this work uh, would be. Uh, uh, very comparable and um, it would be uh, uh, very difficult to uh, to uh, very difficult to look at uh, Christian the role of Christianity in Europe is such a huge uh, topic and the topic of uh, Confucianism in China is as huge and uh, to tackle it uh, in such a good way is very very mm, uh, valuable and you uh, talk about the main concepts of Confucianism and uh, and uh, that um, can serve as um, ways of solving uh, contemporary conflicts uh, and in terms of the goals and this is the hypothesis and I think the hypothesis is well argued the author has a, um, a sense of measure he manages to, to not to expand uh, too much uh, to uh, to expand uh, Confucianism to the whole culture of Chi of Chinese culture, and. Um, two drawbacks when you compare Western and Confucian models of education the the author compares them as individuals and non-individualistic which is not true and this is the where the sense of measure uh, deserts him because in the West uh, we have a liberal model of um, education uh, from traced back to the ten, um, 19th century 
it it uh, fosters uh, individuals yes but but also it uh, serves to develop the adaptivity of um, uh, of a child and uh, but it doesn't develop uh, uh, forceful individualism there's another drawback is the other drawback the two um, the, the the con one of the conclusion there are some conclusions that are not uh, substantiated uh, and uh, while we're not well on the particular ones uh, but um, they're all in the review and um, I'll just uh, just to it reiterate nevertheless that um, this particular uh, drawbacks uh, of the dissertation don't diminish the quality of the work and uh, therefore the thesis of um, of uh, Genbao uh, meets um, the key requirements of uh, of uh, the procedure awarding academic degrees in St. Petersburg University and Genbao deserves uh, uh, a degree of uh, candidate of sciences in and cultural studies to be awarded to him. Thank you very much. Uh, when I read the uh, when I read the reviews, we were we were very good uh, good uh, in um, Athens, uh, but uh, we were so laconic that we would be would look good even in Sparta. We, we strived for uh, laconicity, and uh, now I'd like to uh, to read my review. I um, read uh, your dissertation. With, uh, Genbao uh, with uh, interest. Genbao is a translator. He translates. Um, what um, what we don't know about, we have uh, 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 the reflections of a man uh, who is uh, the the native of uh, of this uh, culture, and this is um, <coughs> very very valuable. Some things uh, uh, are intuitively mm, resonant to me. Uh, in Russia, that whatever uh, Russian, whatever Russian, uh, whatever a car Russian industry uh, produces. Uh, it becomes um, uh, n uh, model number one um, of uh, uh, the Fiat-based car. And the same can be said of uh, China. Whatever China does, it, it comes out as Confucianism. Uh, we, what you just heard from the previous speaker, uh, if, if we talked about Christianity uh, in Europe or in the world, uh, you uh, you would have to uh, spend so much time writing and uh, maybe it would, would not even be uh, ready to tackle, but you tackled this uh, comparable topic. Uh, well, what are the drawbacks? There are some naive re uh, uh, reasonings that you can apply Confucianist model and it will work through slogans, good slogans, but but in my review, I say that there was uh, Bernard Mondeville, a philosopher, who said that the vices uh, drive society mostly, and uh, that and today shows us that uh, good slogans are good, but in our world, development goes not along the in the line of re 
of implementing good wishes. But uh, in terms of uh, uh, fulfilling uh, some of our hidden agendas, well, maybe this this uh, this is why I think that some of your reasons are some of your reasoning is naive. But uh, another plus is that uh, uh, your language uh, is very very smooth in Russia. Well, that's not Pushkin, but uh, but but. Uh, but it has a lot of um, uh, repetition in terms of meaning, not uh, stylistic repetition, but uh, nevertheless, um, uh, I, I enjoyed reading this. And uh, this uh, enjoyed reading this work. Um, I was impressed. Uh, and uh, but Nevertheless, I would like to read this uh, uh, important um, paragraph. Uh, is that the dissertation of Gen Bao, Confucianism in, in Modern Chinese Culture, uh, meets the key requirement of uh, the um, procedure of awarding academic degrees in St. Petersburg University. And the candidate Gen Bao deserves to be awarded a, a, the candidate of, sci of uh, Sciences and Cultural Studies degree. Thank you. And uh, now I'm not uh, the chairman. Um, chairman again. And I uh, will give the floor to the candidates uh, to answer questions and critical remarks. <coughs> I would like to express my deep gratitude for the careful reading of my dissertation. Your suggestions, uh, comments, and criticism will be uh, extremely helpful for my future research. I would like to to briefly answer some of your comments and questions and, and your reviews. First one is about uh, what Confucians can say about the problems associated with the use of artificial intelligence from Professor Zlaza Blanchienkova, thank you very much for your question. I think um, neo-Confucianism has uh, contributed a lot to this. An important point of neo-Confucianism is the balance of and mutual limitation between innate and acquired personality. The innate nat nature of artificial intelligence depends on our initial assumptions about it. When artificial in the intelligence will have self-awareness, then conflict will probably arise from the point of view of Confucius. And in this case, uh, he should be, it should be treated as a person. First, uh, if the um, yes, your second question is the uh, one the cultural codes you propose to consider Confucius position to get along with the environment, but not to be identified with it. About the Confucian position to get along with the environment, but not to be defined by it. For Chinese merchant politics and economy, Chia Zhu and Lai put forward the point of view of pursuing unity and maintaining discord. In today's globalized world, China's political, economic, culture, and other areas of life follow the principle of development. For example, on the basis of this principle, the, um, the Shanghai Cooperation Organization created and developed. Well, The, while China has always acted as coordinator in very various in international disputes, playing uh, an important role 
in resolving conflicts and mitigating confrontation between the parties. Well, this first, uh, the Shanghai um, and the Silk Road, um, the, these are the organization that um, uh, that uh, deal with uh, some needs uh, of the people inside the country. Uh, I would like to thank um, uh, also Professor Smertin for uh, your questions. I'm very grateful to you for the high appreciation of my work, and in the future I will take into account your comments and suggestions. As for the small amount uh, for the small size of paragraph 1-1 one, one, at the beginning of the second. This is a design error. I'll try to be more careful in the future. I would like to give uh, I'll have to give my gratitude, uh, express my gratitude to Professor Surun Kanda um, Surtipova for, for careful reading of the work. I would like to uh, express my gratitude to Professor Anna Yurna Demshina for valuable suggestions for further research and for supporting our concept of the cultural code of Chinese eth ethos. And um, additional, uh, yes, and uh, I would, this, is, uh, this support is very important to us for future research. I think it's a very promising research to area avenue. I'd like to say thank you to Professor Makavetsky. Uh, as far as your question, um, this is uh, about altruism and uh, egoism. Is the further question? There are two concepts of Datong and Xiang uh, Kang. I think that the difference between them is the difference in requirements for different stages of social development. Datong demands a very high moral level from people. This is socialist uh, develop, uh, stage of development. Uh, and uh, the fact that this is uh, as an idealized uh, uh, state from a modern point of view is undeniable, but this is, uh, does not mean that such stage of social development does not require high-level economic demand. Xiong Kang is considered to be a form of social development preceding the Datong stage. Therefore, according to the line of China's social development, Datong is also an, an important goal of China's socialist development. And uh, as far as the uh, unclear, the, how the practice of correcting names contributes to solving the problem of chaos and well, variability of social ties and relations. As for the idea of correcting names, my point is that people can fulfill their duties and responsibilities without interfering with other people's duties, which creates harmony in relationships and has a meaningful result in resisting chaos. When everyone acts in their place, a social conflicts are reduced. Does this mean that any company whose leaders are brought up on confessional principles is successful? If so, the, where do six unsuccessful companies come from in China? Regarding the mention of the connection between confessional principle and the business success, in modern China, not all business activities are based on confessional principle. Of course, not every ent entrepreneurial activity gu is guided by confessional principles. Uh, guided by pr confessional principle is a priori successful. However, we see that researches and management models based on a positive and effective um, development. For example, the model of Huawei company is based on Confucianism. I, I agree with your uh, idea is that um, uh, the gender inequality um, exists. I agree with this. Um, uh, but the, re the rethinking of um, Confucianism aims to show that uh, of this um, 
of the concept of gender equality aims to show that Confucian inherently upholds the high status of women. The work was about the misinterpretation of Confucian ideas from the standpoint of modern globalization discourse and the feminist movement, which also exists in China. This criticism is not always gentrified. As far as the um, the uh, um, why tourism, well, this um, choice. Uh, uh, education is very uh, well choosing the type of tourism an example in straight the meaning of Confucian the choice is due to the fact that Confucius considered this practice to be a very important part of learning and travel is a good kind of practice for self-development of the individual in addition the tourism industry is a promising direction in China and it would be good for the development its development, if it's include, if it include the idea of Confucian, as far as thank you, Professor Sokolov, um, you are absolutely right. Uh, talked about uh, communist democracy and Marxism that uh, are uh, guidelines of um, uh, Chinese development. I would like to point of view from the point of view of China's current development model and integration. The integration of Marxism and Confucian is an inevitable trend. Since the time of Deng Xiaoping, we have seen traditional Marxism gradually evolve into Chinese-style Marxism, more suited to China's national conditions. This uh, new Marxism is complemented by the ethical norms of traditional Confucianism. As far as the uh, about the moral imperative. Uh, from a modern point of view, the moral imperative is necessary in the context uh, of Chinese culture. The goal of the social development of modern China is Datong, a prerequisite for which are extremely high moral requirements. Without these requirements, no economic growth will ultimately achieve the goal of Datong. So these are my answers. Thank you very much. Dear members of this, this station committee, are you happy with the answers of yes of the candidates? Yes. Are there any uh, any members of the audience uh, who would like to speak up? No, no takers. Any, uh, any questions? No questions from, from um, um, listeners. And uh, for the last point of our, one of the last uh, points of our dissertation session is uh, the floor is given to the academic advisor of the dissertation. Dear colleagues, uh, this is the first day of the of a new Tibetan year, so the holiday. I um, have been cooperating uh, with Genbao for over three years. Uh, I've seen him become a um, research supervisor and academic, and uh, he's demonstrated maybe may, many. Uh, uh, good sides, um, very friendly, responsible, and initiate, initiative um, taking. And uh, many of our postgraduates uh, uh, are, don't possess uh, such qualities. Uh, uh, as a researcher, has grown and uh, has learned Russian at, at quite a good level and has. Um, Learned uh, this, the uh, mm, specifics uh, of uh, academic discourse, uh, has published eight papers. Uh, and one last recent uh, paper was published a month ago uh, that uh, deals with cultural codes. 
has always uh, in his works uh, has uh, studied uh, the role of Confucianism in today's uh, world and uh, he's not only a Chinese but uh, he's also a Confucian a true Confucian Gan Bao has a good uh, er good erudition broad mind project um, mm, uh, vision takes his uh, keeps his word uh, listens to uh, people's advice uh, colleagues advice is very important and uses this advice in his work it's been good uh, cooperation as I'm a little bit sad that uh, this is all coming to an end and Bao will probably travel home and uh, for the time of of working with me I've become a uh, like uh, like a father. Well, this is not part of what this is. This uh, work, this uh, work will help him develop uh, uh, his uh, research and uh, and uh, and to expand the traditions of Saint Petersburg. And uh, dear colleagues. Um, any colleague, any comments from the audience? No. Before I proceed to the next item, do members of the station come a country? Any questions or objections uh, related related to the procedure of um, including uh, technology? Evgeny Antolovich, uh, no objections. Anna Yuron, no objections. Yuri Gigorish, no objections. Surahan, do you have any objections? Turn on your mic, please. I have no questions and no objections. Excellent. As Liza said, do you have any, any, no, no objections? No. Thank you. Then we turn to the next item on the agenda, is the uh, vote. Before we vote, we have uh, uh, the right to, mm, to meet behind the closed doors to deliberate our verdict. Do we need, do we need such a break, or do we not need such a? No need. I think uh, you're right that uh, all, all the all the members of the session com committee have expressed their positive attitude. So, so if we don't need a uh, special time for deliberation, then we go on to to vote. Every member of the station committee will be voiced um, independently and publicly. It is uh, 16, oh, 16, I'm putting to the vote uh, the um, resolution to award uh, Gan Bao, an academic dear candidate of cultural studies um, in the theory and history of culture and art. And um, when you vote in favor of this resolution, you accept the following, uh, that um, the the candidate in his work uh, used all the uh, sources um, legitimately, referenced them, and cited them according to the um, guidelines, the accepted guidelines. And uh, I would like to say that um, a decision is taken if not fewer than three people uh, vote for it. 
uh, Eugenia Tosh, your opinion. I am in favor of awarding Ganbel this the sort of academic degree of kinds of cultural studies. Uh, and uh, uh, in favor. Sure, and admission. I am also in favor. As light as uh, your opinion, I vote in favor, and uh, I also uh, in favor of awarding this degree. Dear colleagues and guests, I'd like to announce that out of six members of the dissertation committee. Six people voted in favor, and uh, uh, and no one abstained. No one voted against. I would like to now announce that the decision to award Gen Bao and uh, the an academic degree of kind of cultural studies uh, has been taken unanimously. I would like to congratulate Gen. And uh, I hope to hear from him the uh, laconic um, uh, final statement. I would like to express my gratitude to all members of the station committee for finding the time in your tight schedule to read my mm, dissertation and, uh, and uh, express your suggestions and uh, critical comments. I would like to thank uh, uh, my academic advisor, who has, uh, who has always given me uh, valuable advice uh, and invited me to participate uh, in many conferences. I am very grateful for that, and then this has been been very useful for my uh, helpful my academic uh, uh, growth. Also, uh, I'd like to thank uh, uh, Chairman uh, Sokolov uh, for chairing this session, and I'd like to thank my friends for their of of my friends uh, and helping me achieve what I've achieved. Thank you very much. Before I go wind up, I'll take your time for one minute. I would like to personally thank uh, to find um, to uh, take part in our session. I would like to to thank uh, Evgeny Anatolyevich and Yurina Yuri Grikonch, Sunhan Dadushin, and Slatica. Thank you very much. I would like to uh, to announce the, the session of the academic uh, committee closed. Thank you very much.